Representative Phil Lyman down in Blanding says the policy change shows the National Park Service is acknowledging a state law that's already in force, essentially pushing back federal government overreach. But one wildlands group says in this case, the government is not reaching far enough. People don't buy a UTV so they can tear things up. They, they buy a UTV so that they can get out and see the, you know, the, the parks and the, and the wilderness and the backcountry, and it's, it's a great way to do it. Representative Phil Lyman says it's wrong to have UTV drivers pay the same taxes and license their vehicles to not be able to drive them on the same roads as everyone else. It's a changing class, and that's, I guess that's the, the problem is when you decide that you're going to discriminate against a class of motorized vehicles on trails that are open to motorized vehicles. That's problematic. State and county highways going through the national parks in southern Utah have not allowed UTVs, but have allowed other vehicles until the National Park Service announced a change. This is not an attempt to make more traffic, but if they want to limit the traffic, then they need to do that not simply identify a class of vehicles and say they're not allowed. Neil Clark, the Wildlands Program Director for the Southern Utah Wilderness Alliance, says comparing a car to a UTV is not realistic. As compared to all other sort of um, four-wheel drive Jeeps and things, I mean, UTVs have a uh, particular uh, niche as an, an extremely obnoxious um, and loud and disruptive type of machine. Clark fears the noise will continue to disturb the communities near the parks, but also will damage the wildlife and environment. The damage that's caused, the disruption to um, wildlife um, is really a, of concern, and it's a, a use that continues to increase uh, for, for a number of reasons. But um, yeah, off-road vehicle use is, is one of those issues that uh, we've been working on in, in various capacities and with various um, land management agencies really since uh, our inception over 35 years ago. Problems Representative Lyman says should be looked at just in a different policy. If, if they want a policy, then they make a policy. If, if it's the noise that they're concerned about, then they make a policy about the noise. As reported by the Salt Lake Tribune, the new rule takes effect on November 1st and only allows street legal vehicles on state and county roads. In studio, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.